Hi, I'm Geordie Eid, a farm partnership here with my wife Frances. We run 260 hectares intensive sheep and beef property, right up the head of the Pukin Valley. We've been part of the, the original formation of the catchment group in 2014, and we, along those years, have developed, what would you say, a lot of field days where we've been leading the way and well, a good example was the latest one was we just did mitigator, but uh, in the prior years was winter management plans, uh, fertiliser management plans, and then as of course onto the mitigator that the balance have introduced in the last uh, six months. Techniques that I've learnt over the years of being part of the catchment group and, and attending these forums is, my biggest thing is probably block grazing my, my stock, capital stock on crops in the winter. So I found that the sediment runoff was minimised the actual farm work within the winter was minimised and the stock did far better and were more settled and, a, and from an animal welfare perspective that was great and I mean it couldn't, couldn't have been any more evident than this, this year of the winter we've just had. Uh, going forward I think the mitigation maps that we've now introduced will find I've got places on this property that I won't winter cattle and places that will only be wintered sheep and I'm, I'm glad that we've got that um, variability that we can put it within our system. Um, other water management practices are the rest, the remaining 20% of our waterways to be fenced off and probably more increasing our bigger buffer zones within our winter crops and maybe anything else that we're doing intensively around those water catchment areas. Uh, what we also need to do is more native plantings of our areas that we've developed and that have been fenced off from animals. We enjoy what we do and we're here to, to look after our asset we've got, whether that be the environment, our animals, or um, the people that are within the industry. And I think we all need to look after one another. I'm probably going to pinch something here from David Diprose, is that our allowance to farm here is, is a gift really, it's not a right and I think we need to preserve it going forward and I think there's probably um, there hasn't been any, anything more evident than what's been happening in the last sort of six months that uh, we need to really work on that space and I think I would like to be part of that and that's where I've probably enjoyed that uh, getting the farmers on board and showing that we can do this. Environment Southland.